You're not cool unless you pack your car full of as many plants and trees as you possibly can. Yeah. We got here a Schumard oak, probably around 30 inches in diameter at breast height. We found this really beautiful specimen here. It's a prickly pear cactus. At the base, the stereotypical stem girdling root. This customer did plant this tree. It's only been two days and I can't believe it, but I've already got probably six inches of growth. That's pretty incredible considering all these had sprouted so much sooner and this banana tree was doing nothing. I actually thought it might be dead. Uh, this one's like almost six feet tall. It's probably about five and a half feet tall when I buried into the soil. A lot soil. of times when nursery growing trees, you have stem girdling roots and this is another example of the stem girdling root. It blew over probably in the storm. We're going to go ahead and do some re relief cuts and maybe possibly remove it if it's not too far recessed into the trunk. They just chopped it up, put it on the curb, and they left some really nice sized stems on the ground. So I decided I'd just take it home, throw the stems in the ground because a lot of people may or may not realize that you can just take a cutting off of a cactus, put it in the ground, it'll regenerate roots. But I knew it hadn't bloomed yet, so I didn't think it was dead. And sure enough, it's growing like crazy and in a few months you'll start seeing new growth. So I'm super excited about this one. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the dirt and we'll see how that turns out. So it'll be interesting to watch and see how this tree turns out. Now I cut it off about three feet above the ground. And some of the oldest plants from our fossil record are blooming and budding. These are cycads, specifically they are sago palms. This is literally four days. I can't believe how much growth we've already got. It's dark now. I had a birthday party to go to. I just want y'all to see how it looked like when I was really driving down the road. This is a live oak and it also has some very young stem girdling roots. So it goes all the way from the back of my trunk. I have a PT Cruiser y'all to the front dashboard of my car. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the dirt and we'll take another look at it. Pretty decent sized tree for out. 17, 20 inches in diameter. Cycads survive for thousands of years because of their adaptability. Knock out these stem growing roots before they become a bigger problem. Growing in a very heavily shaded or wooded environment. And this thing just continues to grow. Now there's nothing more disappointing than walking out and finding that the top of your banana tree has broken off. I don't know if a bird fell on it or somebody who was just spiteful knocked it off. But either way, the tree will still recover and continue to grow. Look at how much growth it's had since last night when that piece fell off. Many people don't understand just the power a tree actually possesses. They have the ability to move roads and other objects. This is what happens when you leave a grocery bag on top of your sago palm. It grows up. Well, we got them planted and man, I tell you, they're taller than I thought. That one's over seven feet tall. This is actually a leaf. Right here is a dormant bud. Can you believe that this whole thing is one leaf? It's above my head still and I planted it over a foot into the ground. Super incredible cactuses. We're gonna wait till the morning. I can show y'all fully what these actually look like. The bipinnately compound leaf right here. Bipinnately compound leaf. After about a week and a half, this whole leaf has emerged from the stalk, which is truly incredible. Every day we lose thousands of trees habitat for wildlife. So any chance I get to save a tree, preserve a tree, relocate a tree, I always take that opportunity. It's really tragic that that leaf snapped off because we lost a lot of the ability for this tree to produce energy through a process known as photosynthesis, but it's still incredible to see that that sprouted so much in just two weeks, isn't it? But if we come right over here, we're gonna get to see those beautiful, large cactuses we planted. These things are huge. And already we're seeing new growth. It's only been about two weeks and we can already see where all of the dormant buds within the trunk tissue have started to sprout new growth. Which reminds me, when I planted this cluster of cactuses right here, it looked just like that. I literally only planted this stem right here and all of these heads have formed off of that one stem. Well, if y'all like this kind of content, be sure you subscribe here to The Best Gardens DIY. Thank you for watching my videos and welcome to the homestead.